is going through a period of rapid change. Owing to growing competition, each industry is concentrating on optimizing its production while minimizing costs. Various methods are being adopted to achieve this. It's heartening to note that a large number of business enterprises are recognizing that human resources is their greatest asset and are therefore including HRD as the central theme in their turnaround strategies. We are now about to present four such organizations which have been given the National HRD Network Award 89 for their excellent work in the field of human resource development. Mr. S. Chandrasekhar, Deputy General Manager, Personnel and Human Resource Development, ECC Construction Group, L&T Limited. Mr. Samba Murthy, Manager, Human Resource Development, Sundaram Fasteners Limited. Ms. Sushan Verghese, Manager, HRD, Crumpton Greaves Limited. And Mr. P.K. Sarangi, Deputy General Manager, Indian Oil Corporation Limited. It's people that make organizations grow. And for any organization to be dynamic and growth oriented, they have to see that the people in their organizations grow continuously. Unlike other resources, human resources have unlimited capabilities. And to use this potential to the maximum, organizations must create a climate in which they can identify, bring to surface, nurture and use the capabilities of people. Let us see how these organizations have gone about utilizing HRD. Uh, HRD activities began in our company about four years ago and one of the objectives with which we began was as part of our turnaround strategy to help us deal with an environment which has shifted from a seller's market to a buyer market, a highly competitive environment and I guess this was also part of our cultural strategy for change. And this was the primary trigger for human resources development in the company. The organization which I represent uh, basically believes uh, very strongly in the human values. It has uh, started the organization even though it is only about 23 years old. The values which the organization has cherished has more than about 70 years of its existence. Therefore, the focus of the HRD philosophy in, our, in my company is specifically to build on the past strength take that of a strength and then move on from there to cope up with the change in the environment and the change in the society which is happening. Therefore, the focus has been kept as a focus which encompasses all activities of the company which are aimed towards the uh, human and human processes. Indian Corporation is a very successful organization in common with many other private sector companies. But success has not gone into, gone into our head. We do not like to stay along where we are. We wanted to think whether we shall continue to perform the way we are performing so far and what will be our future like. So therefore we undertook an exercise of looking within ourselves. Therefore we undertook an exercise called corporate development. There are two parts of this corporate development. One is corporate planning to decide strategic options. Other is human resource development to enable the organization and the people to implement those strategic options. But however we just did not go away straight on these kinds of activities. On HRD, we had carried out certain basically uh, action research projects to test our hypothesis how we would like to go about. After getting some experience and gaining some confidence from the action research projects, we have extended it 
throughout the corporation. Basically, what we are trying to do can be looked into two ways. One is improving the human resource management systems. The other is also looking into the human processes in the organization. As regards human resource management systems, there are three actions there. One, look into the existing human resource management systems and improve them wherever necessary. Incorporate new systems which are is appropriate for us and provide the linkages between all the systems to make it an integrated one. So it becomes a whole human, human resource integrated system. And this is going to be highly development oriented instead of traditional personal management which has a high degree of control orientation. Whereas at the same time, we are also undertaking certain exercise of uh, examining the human process in the organization, how individuals bring in their own aspirations into their role and get meaning and provide meaning to the organization. This is what is basically what is being attempted at through the HR initiative. But these are not just isolated functions. These are having total integration with the total company's business plan, the perspective plan, the future direction of the company is moving. So therefore, it is an integrated exercise of corporate development. But the present status, if you ask me, it is something like that, that it has just started taking off. System development, some of the systems have taken off very well. Some of the systems we are still working and struggling with. As regard process aspect is concerned, we are right now developing the process competence of the people. And uh, we expected there would be larger outcome, there are greater process benefit we will be deriving. Maybe it is little less than what we expected, but we are not thinking that things have gone heavier. But we are right now paying attention to the process development. Uh, you know, in an organization we have employees at various levels of workmen, then the supervisors, managers and senior executives. Uh, depending upon the level, uh, we emphasize our HRD activities on technical, managerial and behavioral. At senior levels, we emphasize on behavioral and managerial. And at lower levels, we emphasize our HRD activities on technical. Because uh, HRD is knowledge, skill, and attitude. At lower levels, it is knowledge and skill. At higher levels, it is knowledge, skill, and attitude, and ability to manage people. So, taking all this in, into account, uh, our HRD activities have a thrust, various thrust, and we have different systems. HRD processes may have existed in some form in the country earlier, but a professional outlook to HRD came into being only in the early 70s. Larson and Tudor Limited was the first company to design and implement an integrated HRD systems. Although HRD departments are growing in many Indian companies, there are some who are waiting and watching to learn from the experience of others. And yet there are many others who have made excellent headway in the field of human resource development. These four companies have been major contributors in this field. I'd like to look at it in three forms. One of it is the HRD mechanisms that most people are familiar with. The role analysis, the design of a performance appraisal system which is developmental, We've also done some innovative work in the design of a potential appraisal tool and uh, critical attributes, counseling, etc., which is part of the HRD system focus. Uh, that has been part of our engagement. The second has been people involvement activities, extensive use of people involvement activities. Therefore, I'd like to offer the definition of human resources uh, development, which is offered by our chief executive, which is it is human resources involvement rather than human resources development. And this in our company has taken various forms, extensive training and people involvement activities through small group activities. And we have an outstanding example of one of our divisions, uh, which I think gave us uh, one of the highest return on investment, something like 11%. 
and primarily through small group, small group activities. So the focus has been small group activities, but the objective is also to use the Japanese term kaizen, constant improvement and differentiation for performance improvement. So this is uh, at two levels. The third has been cultural shift, and this came about uh, partly because of the kind of role modeling our chief executive does. He is, uh, I think, the primary inspiration behind everything that has taken place, not only for the kind of vision he has, but also the kind of humanist he is as a person. So we were, I think, a mechanistic organization which had to move on to a highly responsive organization, and therefore we had to look at our leadership styles, we had to look at the way we managed as teams and as people in terms of uh, movement from formal to informal organization, uh, hierarchical to expert power, and uh, I think a style which was empowering. And these shifts have definitely taken place, I would say, uh, maybe to at least 50%. We are still on our way to completion. So the HRV activities, I would then look at it in terms of mechanisms, performance improvement through training, involvement, and what I said as Kaiser, and third is a cultural shift through various mechanisms, role modeling, style interventions, etc. The HRV activities, as I talked about earlier, we try to look at HRV not as a mere uh, system approach, of uh, evolving certain systems and implementing the system in the organization. We try to look at HRD as a philosophy and a faith in the organization. And we, when we looked at HRD, we try to look at a very comprehensive scheme, uh, scheme which uh, conveys, talks about the organization structure, the organizational planning processes, the various other processes which are being introduced in the company. Therefore, now looking back, uh, the, when you talk about the award, we feel that the stand which they have taken, the processes which we have introduced in the company, seems to have got the national acclaim. But I would like to mention one specific process which uh, gave us a tremendous amount of satisfaction when we did it in our company is the introduction of a performance appraisal system. From a totally a closed confidential performance appraisal system, we moved into a totally open performance appraisal system, which I think is the, uh, one of the very significant uh, HRD processes which we have introduced in our company. Particularly, I would like to mention uh, the very unique organization development work we have undertaken uh, with the help of uh, senior most executives of the company, numbering about 22. Uh, these are the senior level of people who control the organization and as well as control the activities of various sections and departments. These people have got together and we are going through an organization development work during the last five years. What is organization development? It is a process by which we try to cope up with change in inside environment as well as outside environment in order that our productivity, work life, quality of work are all kept up and we are always in the competitive edge. Well, uh, we do not believe in HRD means development on the executives. If you talk about human resources, our largest human resources are in the workmen category. Therefore, we are definitely paying attention to the workmen as well. Basically, we are a manufacturing and marketing organization. Quite large number of workmen, about uh, nearly 26,000 workmen work in our company, out of the total population about 33,000. What we have started up is developing a climate and developing the competence to cope with collective power. That is the starting point. That is why our initial activity had been restricted to the executive category. But every initiative has been started with a diagnostic exercise. We have carried out a big survey amongst the workmen, where the sample size has been more than 4,000 people. And this survey has been done by developing an instrument within the company with the participation of the tribunal leaders. And the data collection has been done with the tribunal leaders. We have held several seminars with our 15 recognized unions and the top executives of the union. They have come up with action plans what they think they should do for success of HRD amongst the workmen and what they expect from the management for the success of HRD for the workmen. Therefore, we are going into detailed working how to go about 
looking after the HIV for the workmen. Organizational development is associated with the human side of an organization. More accurately, it's a matter of planned change. And any change by nature is confronted with resistance. Companies do face problems and issues in managing a change. It would be interesting to know how these four companies have managed to overcome difficulties. Any organizational change process uh, normally comes out with a lot of uh, uh, hindrances, obstacles in the way. Ours is no exception. The, especially in an organization like ours, which, is, which has a very long tradition and uh, which has uh, the long service as one of the very important factors in the organization, and an organization which has been also quite successful in its, uh, in, in its entire existence, people normally tend to look at uh, change with a lot of suspicion. And the change for them is a process of negating their past experience. And therefore, it took tremendous amount of time and effort on our part to talk to people, especially the people who were there in the organization for a long period of time, to tell them say, saying that change is absolutely a necessity, not uh, necessarily to be viewed with suspicion and negation of the past. I think uh, we have, to a, to a very large extent, now has overcome the fear and uh, the negative aspects of the change we are able to eradicate by constantly communicating and constantly trying to involve the very people who are resisting the change. And therefore the process became more acceptable and meaningful for them. I think the first uh, difficulty we had, because we are a large organization, multidimensional, multi-geographical, was creating the awareness and need for change. And there's bound to be a certain resistance to change. The idea that we need to be different uh, than what we were, we were always doing well. I think company was growing at the rate of 25 to 30 percent in the past. It's only in 84 that we had this jolt and we had to recognize that our strategies had to be different. We had to look at so many things. So the options were definitely for the hard ones. Uh, and HRD was definitely a softer option. So I think in terms of the push for quantitative results, the push for HRD to go along with it was definitely something that we had to come to with. Uh, second thing I guess uh, was any organization which has a tradition of 50 years and has a history of 15 years, the balance of continuity of the history, the tradition with the change we were bringing in had to be established. And the third part of it was, I guess I find that people are more ready to accept the need to change than in actually implementing it. And fourth, I think I should be thankful to the, uh, to the uh, consultants who gave us the technology, but the implementation of it was definitely the hard way. We had to go through trial, trial and error, experiments, frustrations, uh, etc. So, I guess we had some successes, we had a lot of failures, and uh, we learned by doing it ourselves with a great deal of mentoring. And I think that I would like to say is the happy part. The mentoring and the championing role of our consultants was tremendous. So let me talk about failures first before we come about success. Failures in the sense, the kind of momentum that we thought it would create it has not created, but that great awareness has come definitely in the total organization. But we expected it will create a high degree of momentum throughout the organization. It will create a big wave. It has not happened. Basically, this I will relate to uh, not being able to take charge of the process aspect that we have been talk talking about. People have demonstrated lack of their process skills. And that is why we are still struggling in issues of human processes in the organization and the process of role taken by the people. That is an issue which we have not been able to make very big headway. But while talking about success, we must say that the unique career development system that we have introduced is quite causing quite a lot of ripple all throughout the organization. People are looking forward the kind of activity that we are talking about. We have gone through various serious issues of success and problems in the past, but because of our very careful success and planning, these kinds of issues are getting resolved gradually. Our recruitment system has been greatly changed and we are now feeling confident that we have been able to improve the quality of our input in our organization. Even among the executives, we only recruit at the bottommost level. All our top management comes from the bottom. You say um, the change is painful 
plus changes was a very uh, a happy event because we have grown very fast and today we are one of the largest construction group in this uh, in this country and while coping with that type of change and increased business uh, we have to build up the resource within our own organization that is why this organization development was taken the organization development program which i meant uh, developed with the help of the senior executives have also evolved hrd systems the hrd systems like performance appraisal system reward system motivation of the employees these are all things which have been evolved with the help of senior line managers now while doing that as you know since we are in construction business other problem is locations we have got to relate ourselves with many locations spread all over india and sometimes outside of india in fact we are doing work in russia iraq and in malaysia how to develop these people and also relate our hrd philosophy with them that has been a constraint and we are trying to give a sort of a uh, develop internal resource people who can in turn uh, go to these locations and propagate the philosophy of hrd in those sites we are also developing self learning packages that means we send these packages to the sites and by which they can themselves uh, train themselves and hold small meetings and uh, learning areas can be developed from them so these are the types of uh, constraints and uh, uh, some of the solutions we are trying to find out that's interesting change being a happy event reflects organizational health hrd in the organizational context means the development of an employee as an individual to his or her highest potential in the present and future roles it also means the promotion of a culture in the organization which will be dynamic enough to be the pride of each and every employee while it is important to create such a culture it is even more important to maintain and improve upon it these four companies we know have done excellent work in hrd what have been their priorities what is their planning with regard to the future hrd in their respective fields well my priorities would be to create a, the best quality of life for the people who work for the company after all uh, ultimate thing in life is to have happiness uh, in the inside the organization as well as outside the organization so i feel both the inside and outside are interrelated it is not that i come as an employee within the four walls of the office and go out and live in my house uh, not thinking of the office i think there is a very close and interrelated uh, there are two closely interrelated things other hrd activities which uh, i think we will be evolving will be related to quality of life for the employees in order that he feels a part of the organization that means a member a family member of the organization and he also lives as a family member within his own family we believe that the hrd will have to encompass the entire uh, community of our uh, people in the organization because we strongly believe our approach to hrd is more paternalistic kind of an approach which i think is the uh, traditional approach in our country our focus and our future plan is going to not only look after the employee oriented uh, human resources activity we are moving from the employee to the employee and his family his uh, wife children and that is going to be the focus and that may the systems which we are going to develop and the plans which we are envisaging for the future will compass the entire family they buy from the family at probably an eventual uh, date we want to go into the society and uh, do the hrd work there we have many issues that we have to tackle with say for example our company has become more than 25 years old now there are quite a people quite a lot of people who will be retiring in a few years time therefore we have issues of succession problem we have issues of uh, career development problem because we do not recruit people at the higher levels there is no need to recruit in our company we recruit only at the bottom therefore there is a responsibility of the company to develop these people to come up in the higher level whether they have been recruited at the bottom most level or wherever maybe 
it becomes an additional responsibility of the company to ensure their development. Therefore, at the present, present moment, we are initiating activities of their career plans, their succession plans, and particularly skill development will be the key issue in next few years time, because quite a large number of people are going to retire from our company. It's a completion from where we are. I'd like to think we are still in a state of transition. Completion would be one of our focus. Institutionalization would be one of our focus. And I think a shift in strategic human resources. The focus is definitely going to be the kind of human resources planning we need to do for the kind of scenario we visualize. We have extremely ambitious uh, future plans for this organization. And I think uh, the kind of performance we've had this year uh, is a statement of optimism for the kind of uh, future we'd like to create. And HRD would be to complement that kind of business focus. And uh, that would be one of our uh, main focus. Uh, performance, constant performance improvement on, in our manufacturing organizations, creating marketing challenges uh, for the kind of uh, uh, you know, strategy we need to deal with a highly competitive environment uh, would be the kind of focus we, ha uh, we wish to bring in.